I start to wonder if this is a good idea. As we push on through the darkness in silence, the rumbling from our spike tires on icy road is the only sound in our insulated world of snow and Nordic pine trees. We stop to hydrate and throw our bikes down on the icy road. Young Tor squeezes the last drops of almost frozen water from his bottle. Martin pulls out his camera and, despite the darkness and heavy snowfall, starts capturing this moment in our adventure. Are we truly aware of what we got ourselves into? Our three-day winter bikepacking adventure began in Copenhagen, where we took the ferry to Oslo, Norway. From the Norwegian capital, our three-man team headed west into a winter mist. Tor, the youngest in our crew, has come along on this winter adventure without having any previous bikepacking experience. Hopefully, his positive attitude and love of riding will be sufficient to keep him pushing through. Martin is a dedicated photographer and rarely misses a chance for documenting an adventure. He insists on carrying a huge camera in his backpack. As for me, I'm an experienced bikepacker with several solo adventures under my belt, but I've never ridden this far north. Finally, with 110 kilometers clocked, we pull up in darkness at a gas station in the town of Norsund. Hot chocolate and hot dogs all around. Anything with hot in the name sounds good at this point, and we still have an 11 kilometer climb to reach the hotel. By the time we reach our accommodation for the night, we have given all we had to the trail. We wake up to an unchanged weather scenario. The snowstorm is still in full swing as we get our bikes ready. The pitch black night has faded into a bleak grey day. The fresh northern tailwind launches us down the mountain. The temperature is far below zero degrees Celsius and we have doubled up on base layers. A seamless inner layer paired with a thicker mid layer. The winter conditions in Scandinavia must be taken very seriously as a comfortable situation can quickly turn and even prove fatal if you don't pay attention to your body's signals, the weather, the state of your gear, your energy supply, your mood and your itinerary. We watch each other and pay attention to even small indications of a shift in mood. But we're all smiles. The landscape is stunning. Now that. <laughs> As we navigate through small villages and forests, we enjoy the riding and feel fortunate to be in such beautiful surroundings. As we get closer to our accommodation for the night, the snowstorm relents and we're blessed with a stunning sunset. We head off to bed, reminiscing about skidding on the ice, frozen eyebrows and loads of fun in the snow.
start our third and final day in the crisp morning darkness. As the sun rises over the fjord, it reveals a magical scene. Cold, dark waters that sharply contrast with crystal white snow. And in the distance, the high mountains we had ventured into on the first day of our expedition. As we navigate back towards the ferry in Oslo, we soak up the sun, the blue sky, the glistening snow, and the last fun challenges on our bikes. Leaving the frozen wilderness behind makes us realize that our three-day adventure has come to an end. Our winter bike packing ride was a great idea. As we're average riders, we weren't in it for the extremes. We were in it for the joy of cycling. Our Norway bike packing adventure has been about building on our experiences and creating a ride where we challenged ourselves with new conditions and new surfaces to ride on. By trusting in our gear to have our backs in these cold conditions, we have felt physically comfortable and mentally prepared. Promises about new rides and more adventures have already been made and we leave Norway in a golden glow of warm fulfillment and achievement. Cycling is genuinely enriching our lives. (laughs) 